So let's take a look at this system. It's got Windows Defender installed, it looks safe, and everything is enabled and turned on. So you might think this system is safe, especially since Microsoft has pretty good VARS definitions these days. So it should detect at least well-known malware like the one we're looking at. But what if I were to tell you that you could run any recent malware on this computer and it would go straight through? Windows Defender would not block it. So if you do a simple search for Minecraft malware, you're gonna be flooded with different examples of info stealers, viruses, that are present in different mods, launchers, cheats, and so on. The question though is knowing that this type of malware is so prevalent, info stealers like Redline and LumaStealer being the most popular malware out there right now, how is it not detected? How do they still manage to infect your computer? Well, it turns out they have some tricks to get around traditional defenses like Windows Defender. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. How does this malware get past your defenses, infect you, and then what happens? How does your data end up on the dark web? So first of all, when I do my investigations, typically you're going to end up with some kind of payload like this svchost.exe, something pretending to be a Windows process. Sometimes this may be the main malware, but often not. A lot of the times what this does is it disables your defenses. And one of the great things that malware can do is it can run a simple command in order to remove the virus definitions that Windows has. So in one command, you don't have to disable Windows Defender. So let's take a look at this system. It's got Windows Defender installed. It looks safe and everything is enabled and turned on. So you might think this system is safe, especially since Microsoft has pretty good virus definitions these days. So it should detect a least well-known malware like the one we're looking at. But what if I were to tell you that you could run any recent malware on this computer and it would go straight through? Windows Defender would not block it. And that's not because it can't, that's because I have run a simple command, which is what the malware is going to do, in order to remove definitions or remove the malware signatures that it has, the rules that it uses to identify malware. Turns out all it takes is a simple command. So if you open command prompt and paste, hit enter, Boom, this is going to get rid of our latest updates. And now we are susceptible to malware, even if it is recognized by Windows Defender in the latest updates. And what malware like this does is it begins by running that command and then downloading the main malware. So they're going to run something that's undetected like a simple Python script and all it does is remove the definitions and then it goes ahead and downloads the malware that they want. Now you're not going to know, you might think I'm just installing a Minecraft mod, it's not really going to show up as anything suspicious, because it's not really disabling Windows Defender, it's still enabled, it's just getting rid of the signatures. So until you run another update, your computer is now vulnerable to basically any recent malware. And this is one of the reasons why Windows Defender, even when it does have the capabilities, doesn't always prove that effective in protecting systems because malware authors are used to having to get around it because everybody has Windows Defender. So they built that into their attack mechanism. How are they gonna get around Windows Defender? Now, once the main payload is downloaded, which is going to be something like Luma Stealer or Redline Stealer, which is an info stealer that's gonna dump all of your cookies from your browser and credentials, and that data is often going to end up on the dark web. So if we do a simple search for Minecraft on Flare, you can see directly we get an infected device on the Exodus market, and it mentions Minecraft ads on Telegram. And this is a long list. Uh, we've got 52,000 results in the last month, so, a lot of people getting their credentials leaked through different tools associated with the game. So again, be super careful when you're downloading any kind of third-party mods or game tools or anything like that. A lot of it does result in your data being leaked on the dark web. Now, if you wanna do a search yourself to see if um, your emails are potentially out there or any of your devices has been infected by some kind of info stealer and has a log on the dark web, you can try out Flare using a link in description. They're a sponsor of this video and you can do your own search with your email address and it's gonna show you what's out there in dark web forums and telegram chat rooms, things that hackers will use. Now, if you wanna learn more about credential dumping, you're also in luck because they're currently running a Flare Academy webinar that you can register and join for free on the 6th of May. So if you want to learn about credential dumping on Azure, this is a great opportunity to get an introduction. I'm gonna leave a link to sign up in the description. So if you're somebody working in cybersecurity or IT, 
IT, you might want to tune in to this unique opportunity. Now, I hope you found this information helpful and hopefully it gives you some idea of how malware is still able to infect computers, even though Windows Defender exists. I've been looking at a lot of Minecraft malware and usually it ends up being some kind of info stealer. So do share this information with your friends. So don't get your accounts hacked. And if you have accidentally run an info stealer, do check out the main video, the featured video on this channel about what to do if you're hacked. It's a very cool video. It's got Jurassic Park references. So don't miss that one. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Leo. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.